in today's video we will learn how to create a change notice before knowing to how to create a change notice i would like to show you the change management terminology used in windchill firstly an engineer raises a problem report then from problem reports change request is created and from change request change notices are generated and from change notices change activity is automatically generated like some change management terminology there are some predefined roles of change management roles in windchill for example change admin 1 he is authorized to create and analyze a problem report and a change request change admin 2 can create and analyze a change notice or a change activity change admin 3 audits the completed change notices and release them in windchill now creating acn firstly we will go and click the change request we have received from the my taskbar then we will start creating an ecn we will go to actions then new and then only one option will be there of creating a change notice new change notice we'll click on this same window will appear just like we have uh, seen in the uh, case of change request in case you have missed out on that video just click on the i button and watch that video also now four options will be there first is set attributes then second is define implementation plan set attachment select associations we have to perform all these firstly type of change notice then we will just check in this box propagate information so that it propagates all the informations automatically right clicking this we will receive this field information now in the name segment we'll just copy the name and then move to the next uh, ne button then the define implementation plan will highlight then this implementation plan will be there we'll have to just click this pen button this is an edit option by clicking this new window will be opened of set attributes and select affected resulting objects then just copied name will be pasting here just like this then assignee your name your your reviewer name uh, need date we will just put uh, whatever need date uh, the engineering change uh, request has in description we'll just copy the same description and uh, paste here o although there is no star on this but still it's okay to fill the information in plan finish date always keep the plan finish date a day ahead or a week a ahead uh, in the release date we'll just uh, state the release date uh, mentioned in the change request everything will be aligned as a change request then we'll click next and then select affected and resulting objects that means the the change request might have some part na, that needs a change a model or a drawing then this is the place we will contribute all those informations now these are the uh, icons i'll let you know what does they mean first is the copy selected objects copy selected objects means from this table to this table we can copy the selected objects now paste from clipboard when we copy the objects from for example this table it gets copied in the clipboard in the background memory then when we paste a click uh, option over in the next table they get pasted from clipboard here then this is a paste selection from clipboard multiple selection can be also pasted then this is a, a remove option which means if we have added a wrong part in this table we can remove them this is a useful option we can add parts from this option this is the collect affected objects related to the particular part then this is a revise option we can revise the objects now firstly we will find the add the object by clicking plus icon we will add the part number this and then click ok then we will check in this and we will collect the related objects to this part for example CAD and drawing then we will click on this button it means the collection of CAD data of assembly and drawing it, it will be collected like this now three components were total in there we'll click ok then all the reflected objects will be reflected here then we will select all the uh, boxes and just click on this revise button 
and then these all the uh, parts will be revised in the next revision for example this is c next version would be d and 0 0.5 0 0.4 are the iterations how many times we have checked in and checked out the objects while uh, doing the changes so this is necessary revision because we cannot change anything in the c revision because it is already in the production state we need a revision so that the part comes in in work and we can uh, work on that like this all the parts will be there in both the tables there should be parts affected and resulting objects then only click on finish in this way your ecn creation will be successful i hope i was able to make my point across you uh, for more videos like this just click on the subscribe button and share this videos with your employees thank you so much